Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to build a microscope today out of this bag of parts. So every one of you should have gotten a Ziploc bag full of parts. So let's start by sorting through the parts. So take out the little tiny Ziploc bag that's in the big bag. Put that aside for now. And then take out all, dump out all the wooden parts. All right. So let's sort through this stuff. So for a microscope, there is going to be a body of the microscope. This can be the microscope tube. That's where you look through. And then for our microscope, there's actually an iPad attachment. So we're not actually going to be building the, uh, using the iPad attachment in the beginning, but it's nice to have those parts out of the way. Okay, so here we go. So let's find these oval pieces. There should be four of these oval pieces. Three of them have big circles. Oops and one of them have a small tiny circle called a pinhole in the middle. So these belong to the tube of the microscope. There are also four long pieces like these. Two of them look like this. Two of them look like this with a little curve um, kind of finger on them. That belongs to the microscope too. Okay, and then look for a part that looks like this, like kind of a big U shape. That belongs to the iPad attachment. So it is this little skinny piece here and this tiny piece with a hole in the middle, okay? So those we're not going to use. And then everything else uh, belongs to the body of the microscope. So you should have two of these big body pieces. You should have two circles, small circles, and one larger circle. Then you should have a ring, a gear, a dowel, and then two of these little um, small rectangles and then a bigger rectangle with notches this piece, and then two comb-shaped pieces, and this piece that's very complicated with a bunch of holes in the middle. And then take your little Ziploc bag, and now take out things in there. You should see a mirror, that's part of the body. You should see two metal washers, that's part of the body, and then two clear plastic lenses. These are a little bit hard to see, so let me label them for you. Okay. All right, so to start off with, we're gonna start off building our microscope by making what we call the stage. So we're gonna take these three pieces, the two comb-shaped piece and the complicated piece with all the holes in the middle. And these comb pieces just slot in to the complicated piece. Um, you'll see how this fits into the body in a little bit, but for now, we need to glue this together because it's not very stable. The little combs wobble. So what you wanna do is take some glue and put a little thin strip here and here and then put the comb back on, make sure it's straight, and hold it tight until the glue dries a little bit. Same thing for the other side, this here, here. Hold it there, make sure it's tight. So when the glue dries, you're going to have a piece like this that's much more stable, right? You can't wobble it. All right, so the stage is ready. Next, we're gonna work on the tube of the microscope. So take these four pieces, the four long pieces, First, take one of the pieces with the curved finger, and then these two long pieces that don't have the curved fingers fit on the either side of it. Then this last piece make, um, go on top, and you kind of make a long box. So the only thing to pay attention to is making sure the two curved fingers are facing the same side, right? We don't need to glue this together because we're gonna be putting pieces on the top and on the bottom, and so that will be enough to hold it tight together. So, Here's your, the start of your microscope tube. This is gonna be the top of your microscope tube and this is gonna be the bottom. So the side closest to the curved finger, that's the bottom of the tube. This is the top. Um, on the top, place one of the ovals with the big circle. You're gonna do the same thing for the bottom. So flip that over and then put another piece there. So these little holes are what's gonna hold our lenses. Right, so the lenses are the one of the most important part of the microscope tube because that's what allows us to see a magnified image. Um, so take one of the lenses and find which side is the curved side. So for me, this side is the curved side. There's a little curve here. Curved side always face into the tube. So we're gonna put the lens on and make sure, sure the curved side faces into the tube of the microscope, right? And then we're going to hold it in place with another of the ovals with the big circle. 
Again, this is for the top of the microscope tube, all right? So we're gonna make a sandwich, but the sandwich isn't gonna be tight enough to hold the lens in place. So what we need to do is put a little bit of glue around the edges of the post here and here. Um, be careful and don't get any glue onto the lens because if you get glue onto the lens, then it makes it cloudy and you can't see through it as well. So once you put glue, make the little sandwich, and then make sure it's tight and hold it in place and wait for the glue to dry a little bit. Then you can flip it over. We're gonna do the same thing for the bottom of the microscope tube, right? So now this is the bottom, this is the side closest to the curved fingers. Take a lens, find the curved side, make sure it's facing into the tube, and then do the same thing. Put some glue on the post, don't touch the lens with it, and then put on the final piece, which has the super tiny hole, and another, again, make another sandwich, right? And then wait for the glue to dry, and making sure everything is secure and stable. Okay, so we've got a microscope tube. So once the glue dries, you're gonna have a piece that's like this, that's much more secure and can hold the lens in place. So now let's work on the body of the microscope. To start on the body, take your dowel and one of the little wooden circles. Actually, I'm gonna use this one, doesn't really matter. Okay, put it on the end. And we're gonna put one of the washers on. Then take one of the big body pieces and put it through the hole in the middle, the circular hole. Okay, that's the start of your body. Next, take one of the gears and just slot it on. You'll see what the gear is for in a little bit, so for now, just stick it in there, and then we have to line it up right in a little bit. Okay. Now, to build the body, we need some cross pieces before we put on the other body piece or it's just gonna wobble, right? So, take one of the small rectangles and put it on here, and this one goes there, right? And then the bigger body piece goes here in both of these holes. That's the back of your microscope body. Okay. Now the stage you made before, now you can take, pick it up and it should, it should be pretty stable. Look for the end with the longer, there's a long end and a short end. The long end should be facing up. And you're going to put it onto this rail here. That's how it slides up and down. And so now you can kind of see what this gear is for maybe, right? So the teeth of the gear should, kind of line up with the holes of the stage so that when you turn the gear, it's gonna move the stage up and down. Right now it's a little bit wobbly because there's other side of the body isn't on. So just sort of line it up around approximately right, make an estimate, and then we're going to line it up better in a little bit. The final piece we need to put on is the mirror. So that goes here. Now we're ready to put on the other body uh, piece. So put the dowel on, and now this part's a little bit tricky because you have to try to fit all the little notches into the correct hole. So here, right here, this the stage has a, uh, this side has to fit on the rail. The back piece have these two holes has to fit into, and then the two short small rectangles have to the notches there have to fit there, and then finally the mirror has to fit. Okay, I think everything looks pretty good. It might take a little while to do this to make everything fit right. We're gonna put on this piece on top. That is one of the pieces that will help hold everything in place. Put on another metal washer, and then the other wooden piece. That also helps everything hold tight. Okay, so now you can check to make sure that the gear is lined up right with the little holes on the stage so that it'll turn it up and down. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, finally, we're gonna put the big piece on. So this big piece really is just to help you turn the stage up and down. Okay, let me make sure everything seems tight. Okay. All right, there we go. So now see how when you turn, this is called a focusing knob, how when you turn it, it moves the stage up and down. Okay. So the final part of the body is something to hold the slide. So this, that's what this ring is for. So you can slot it into any portion or any kind of level of the stage, right, depending on what you're looking at. So let's say we choose this one. And so when you have a slide to look at, you just set it on across the ring and it'll hold it in place. So now we're ready to put on the tube of the microscope. So take the tube you've made and then that just kind of clips on up here. Okay, so there you go. That's the microscope that you just built, let me put a sample, a slide on there. So here we have the eyepiece, that's the top, on, at the top of the microscope tube, you've got your eyepiece, so you look 
through here, going down the microscope tube. At the bottom, there's another lens that's called the objective lens, right? Here's the body of the microscope. Here's our focusing knob, which moves the stage up and down. And then to make sure our sample, the thing we're looking at, has enough light, we have this mirror. So if you have a lamp shining on it, or maybe you're outside and the sun is really bright, you can rotate this mirror and make sure the light is directed at the sample. All right, so that's our microscope. Um, we're not going to show you how to do the iPad attachment. That's a sex, uh, kind of additional exercise. So if you're finished, if you can make this um, traditional microscope, ask one of the teachers to show you how to add on the iPad attachment. Okay, that's it.